<sighs> there comes a time in a man's life when he, well, he's got to stand in front of a blue wall for a while. Everyone else might say that's strange, but maybe it's because he's a little blue. Inside. Heck, we all are. Welcome to Netlink Daily. <laughs> It's the big day! AMD has launched the Radeon RX 480 and reviews are up. We actually got our hands on two 8GB cards. So check out Riley's review where he focuses on how well the two 480s do in Crossfire. Consensus from around the interweb seemed to be that the 480 is the best reasonably priced GPU out there. At the moment at 200 bucks US and getting solid performance in VR and 1440p. So how will Nvidia respond? I don't know, you tell me. Start the flame war! Speaking of VR, sort of, we just mentioned it anyways, HTC is spinning off its Vive virtual reality headset into its own company. The shiny new subsidiary has an equally exciting name, the HTC Vive Tech Corporation. HTC hopes to use the spin-off to build alliances with potential partners in the VR space, like the ones they have with Valve. It also allows them a safe exit in case their phones keep going down the path they're on. Why'd you have to take away the front-facing speakers, HTC? What do they do to you? Windows has announced their massive anniversary update for Windows 10 will arrive on August 2nd. The update will include Windows Ink, which deeply integrates pen input for a variety of functions, and enhancements for Cortana, which will let you interact with her without unlocking your device. The Edge browser will finally get extensions, and there will be some security updates as well. One thing that won't be in the update, though, is universal messaging, a feature the company previously teased that would let you answer and send text through your PC. What can you do? Microsoft giveth and Microsoft taketh away. It's time for a shorter news story said more quickly than the others. If you want to see yourself featured on Netlink, send us a clip of you saying that. I know it's a mouthful, maybe it should have been something different, but it's too late for that now. Overwatch's competitive mode apparently did well in its beta on PC, so now it's launched for real in the full game. Still only on PC, and you have to be level 25 and play 10 assessment matches to assign yourself a rank. That's how you know it's competitive when there's so many rules. The Wi-Fi Alliance has launched a new certification program that very basically adds a bunch of new features to 802.11ac Wi-Fi to make it faster, more efficient, and just better. And you might already have a router that supports them. Google has worked with Qualcomm to bring support for their augmented reality system Tango to Snapdragon processors, so we could be seeing a whole whack of Tango devices showing up next year. The Kickstarter campaign for the System Shock remake is now live, and it's got a free playable demo you can download now, and dang does it look pretty, especially compared to the original. And yes, the RX 480 just launched, but video cards noticed the RX 490 listed on the site in details for a promotion that ends in December, so it looks like we may see this card out before the year is out, is finished, yes. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Oh man, I barely line really. The guy says, I hope you get it. Yes, that's a classic, man. Strangely enough, our call out today is what our first news story was. The RX 480 has launched, and that means it's available at NCIX as well as in my hand right now. VR not just for the 1%, guys, it's not just that. Don't you know that? There's versions from Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Sapphire, and XFX. Some are overclocked, others prefer to stay vanilla. Click here, or in the link, in the description to get all the details and order yours. Ugh. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click over here to watch more videos. Yes, that's right. Follow us on social media over here, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. <laughs> now I've got to get out of here before Riley realizes that I, I don't want to read these stupid outro. It's something about eating lunch. It always is. Plus, I already ate mine. It was delicious. Made by our friend Zia, the cafe that's close to here, if you didn't know. Look him up and go and come come and see him at his, his store, Zia's Cafe and Grill. That's a free advertisement. There you go, Zia. Definitely doesn't watch this show.